Welcome back to Inflow Technologies Day in the Life PDM User Series. I'm Nit Sweeney, and today let's take a tour of the PDM user interface. It's important to understand that PDM has more than one place to access the tool. We're going to start with the File Explorer, but later we'll look at the interface from within SolidWorks. Looking at the vault, it's like any other folder structure in Windows Explorer. We can double click on folders to view what's inside. Notice in this case, we have a list of folders and files. If I select a file, we see the interface come to life. The first tab, along the middle of the screen, is the Preview tab, which is what we're looking at right now. The preview lets us do things like take a quick measurement, view the file in an exploded configuration, or even view a markup if it's available. And the preview works for multiple file types. We can use this to look at our SOLIDWORKS models, but also drawings, Word documents, and so on. Let's take a look at the next tab, Data Cards. The data card stores the information we care about regarding our file, known as metadata. These properties are commonly linked to the custom properties of a SOLIDWORKS file. As you may know, properties can be configuration specific, so you can switch to different configurations in a data card to see any potential differences. Our versions tab is next. Versions isn't as flashy as preview or data cards, but it tells a lot about our file. For example, I can see that the file I have open has been modified. Now I might want to go back and see what that file looked like before, or at least know what's happened to the file in previous versions. In that case, we can look at the history. There are two ways to get to the history of a file, either via a right click and then selecting history, or by clicking the history icon at the top of Windows Explorer. History tells us what's going on with the file we're looking at. We can see information about who, did what, when they did it, as well as why they did it. We can use this dialog to actually go back and get those old versions if we want to by using the get function at the top. Our next tab is the Build Materials tab. What's really nice about this tab is that we can switch between different versions of the file or even between different formats for the Build Materials. Depending on what you need it for, it makes it easy to work with and get it out of PDM. Now see these buttons on the right-hand side? Using these buttons lets us save the Build Material as either a CSV or a .bom file. Very similar to the Build Materials, we also have the Contains tab. With the Contains tab, we can see information such as referenced documents and any general information about our documents. And the final tab, Where Used, is pretty much the inverse of the Contains tab. Here, we can see what files reference the file I'm currently looking at. Now this might be assemblies, drawings, or anything we've added to this file as a reference. We also have a few dropdowns at the top. First, we have Tools. Now Tools is where you'll find things like Copy Tree and Move Tree, which are basically the PDM versions of Pack and Go. You'll also find your inbox here. Make sure you check it frequently for any notifications you might have. Display lets you change what all you see and how you see it. For instance, you can change where this preview tab that we've looked at is located. You can put it on the right-hand side. Modify has a list of options that exist in the right-click menu. For example, using Paste as Reference will let files be associated with each other without necessarily physically existing in that file. The final menu is Actions, which is in the same vein as the Modify tab. If you hover over Tasks, you can find any options that administrators may have set up for additional actions. Finally, if you click on this PDM icon on the far left, that will take you back to the root folder of the vault. Now let's transition into the SOLIDWORKS interface. One of the things that makes PDM great is the fact that for a SOLIDWORKS user, they can do a lot of their work without having to ever leave SOLIDWORKS. So in the PDM task pane, we can take our file and open up a different version of that file.
On this screen, we click Get, and PDM will grab the assembly as it was at that point in time. Along the top of the task pane, we also have options to view the properties of that file. This shows as a data card, which we can then edit if we need to. You can also change the workflow state of a file as long as it's checked in. You can view the where used information and even open the file in Windows Explorer.